Good day. In this video, we're going to look at simplifying in division in grade 8 and 9. There's also a special sum that I will do with you that I would like you to go to extra trouble to try and understand. Of course, it's neglected a lot. So here is our first division sum. There's a division, li division line over there. Remember, we're going to use SNV. Think about your signs, think about your numbers, and think about your variables. This minus divided by a minus is going to give me a plus just now. Then I'm going to simplify the 8 and the 12. I'm going to cancel the A's with each other, the B's with each other, the C's with each other. Then my final answer would look like this. We get it by simplifying this. A minus divided by a minus will give me a plus. Then 4 will go into 8 twice, and 4 will go into 12 three times. Then we'll cancel the smallest A first. Put a 1, cancel this A, a up here, and we'll have A squared in the air. We cancel the smallest b first, put a 1 over there, and we get b to the power of 4, 5 down here. Cancel the c down here, it goes in once, and c goes near once. And then I have my final answer here. At the top we have a 3a squared, which I wrote here. At the bottom we have this 2b to the power of 5, and that d that I wrote over there. Now here is that sum I told you that I would like you to go to extra trouble to understanding. If you do understand the way I'm, I'm doing it, then you can relax and stop watching that video. This sum is asking you to divide 3x squared by 3x and to divide minus 12x by 3x. It takes a little bit of experience. So I'm going to divide this number underneath here and underneath here by rewriting it. So I wrote that 3x squared on the top here with a plus in front and the 3x underneath. Then totally away from that, I wrote the minus 12x over the plus 3x. Now I simplify these two separately. A lot of teachers like to factorize this top and then cancel. Don't. This is the way to do it. Firstly, this plus, divide by this plus, will give me a plus just now. Then I will cancel. 3 goes in here once. 3 goes in there once. I'll kill this x goes in here once. There will be an x remaining over there. On the other side here, I'll say 3 goes in here once. 3 goes in there four times. Cancel the x goes in here once and the x goes in here once. This minus and the plus divided in each other will give me a minus. Then I have my final answer down here. A plus divided by a plus is a plus. This answer that was left over here is x. Minus divided by a plus is a minus. That the 4 over 1 that's left here leaves me with a 4. Later on, you can divide this in here with your mind. You don't have to show all the calculations. Divide this guy in here. Plus divided by a plus is this plus with the x. Divide this guy in here, minus divided by a plus is a minus, and then if you cancel this and this, you're still going to get a 4. Please practice in the beginning using this step. Now I'm going to try and help you to make a connection between this sum that everybody really understands and these division sums. This sum is quite familiar to people that's done a little bit of this. So you're going to times this minus 2x in here, and times this in here. Minus times a plus is a minus, 2, you write it down, x to the power of 3. Minus times a minus is a plus, 2 times 4 is 8, and then x squared. This technique is practiced like hundreds of times in grade 8 and 9. Now see if you can make a connection between this and the next sum. The same way we divide it, we times the minus 2x in here, we're now going to divide the minus 2x in there and in there. But to make it easier, I write the minus 2x underneath this guy, put the minus 2x underneath this guy, and I write it here, and I get, end up with two sums in one sum. Then I simplify by saying that I have this plus divided by a minus is a minus. Then I cancel. This x goes in here once, and then there's one x left over there. Then I cancel on the other side. And I say this minus divided by a minus gives me the plus. Then I cancel the numbers. 2 goes in here once, 2 goes in here twice, x goes in here once, and x goes in here once. And that then finally leaves me with this answer down here. I've got my x over minus 2. Got a plus that came from here, and this is 2 that's left over here. Looks like a lot of scratching, but this is the way to do it. Here is one more of that kind. I've got one guy at the bottom and a few guys at the top. We call it a single term and a few terms. This could be 3, 4 at the top. We're going to divide this guy in there and in there by rewriting it first. I write that 9a squared b over minus 3ab over here. I write that minus 18ab squared over minus 3ab over here. Two loose sums, I make it. Then I simplify them separately. We say 3 goes in here once, and 3 goes in here three times. 
A goes in here once, and A, there will be A remaining there. Cancel the B goes in here once, and the B goes in there once. The two minuses will give me a plus just now. 3 goes in here once, 3 goes in here six times. A goes in here once, A goes in here once, B goes in here once, and there will be a B left up there. That will then finally give me this answer that we have at the bottom here. What we have is over here, what is left is a plus divided by a minus is a minus. The bottom is just 1, so I can leave that out. The top is then 3A, which I wrote. This minus divided by a minus gave me my plus. At the bottom, there's just 1, and if anything over 1 stays the everything. So it's just 6B at the top that I write down here. Here is our last division sum. There is division over there for this video. The sum is different from the previous ones. We must always simplify the top here first, simplify the bottom totally, and then we simplify them towards each other. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to use the exponent laws and times this exponent in all the way to the front. Then we're going to times this 2 into this bracket and make the minus 5 weight. So here is our answer. We take this square and we take the minus times the minus, gives you a plus. Then we take the 5, there's a 1 in the air, so you write 5, and 1 times 2 is 2, so it's 5 square. We take that 3 in the air and times it by that 2, gives me m to the power of 6, times the 4 with the 2, and it gives me n to the power of 8. Then I take the minus 5 and I rewrite it, I tell it to wait. Then I times that min that 2 into the air to that 1 there, it gives me m square. Take that m time 2 times that 2, gives me that 4. Now the top is simplified, I'm going to simplify the bottom fully. We'll just get rid of these brackets over here because I'm timesing this minus 5 into this bracket, but it won't change anything. Now this will look like this. Now we concentrate on how to simplify this. We will cancel this 5s, the m's, and the n's, and the signs. Plus divided by minus will give me a minus just now. Then I cancel 5 goes in here once, and there will be 5 left up there. Then I cancel my smallest m. Leave me a placeholder 1, and up here I'll still have m4 to the power of 4. Cancel the smallest n, put the 1 down there, and here I have n to the power of 4. This will leave me with my final answer down here. Plus divided by a minus is a minus. I'll have a 5 left up here, a m4 left up here, and an n4 left up here. At the bottom we have 1 times 1 times 1, which I can write. I usually can stop here just to remind you, don't forget your ones, but this one you can leave out in your final answer at the bottom.